Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi friends, it's Rache and I welcome you here. Happy Monday. It is the beginning of remote goals for the library. Yay! It's almost the end of June. But this week is going to be so great. We hope you can enjoy us for, join us for all of our programs and all of our events and all of our live things. Um, while we wait, I'm just gonna hang out for a second, and help some other friends join us. While I wait, I just wanna again, again say we have curbside pickup happening. So if that means that you can request items in the catalog for pickup, remote polls are available now too. So that means you can request items from other libraries and they'll be sent here to Haverford. Woo! I don't have news on when the library, library will reopen. Try it again. I don't have news for when the library will reopen. But as soon as I do, I will let you know. But um, we can't wait to see you. We hope you guys are being safe. I take my mask off while I'm doing story time, but I do have one. I feel like I talk so fast and so gibberish, so gobbly gibbly sometimes that I'm afraid my mask would really make me talk really fast, even fast fast, because I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure when, when live programs will resume, but again, as soon as we know, we will let you all know and we will keep you up to date and keep you in the loop. So today I just have a selection of books that I wanted to share with you. I hope you like them. I hope you join me with some fun songs and some reading. But while we wait, let me grab my turtle so she can say he or he or she today. He can say hello. So hello, hello, hello. Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, yeah. It's a Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Let's sing our turtle song, shall we? Can you guys pretend like you have a turtle? And say, I have a little turtle who lives in a box, who swims in the puddles and crawls on the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a metal. He snapped at me. He caught that mosquito. He caught that flea. He caught that metal, but he didn't catch me. He didn't catch me. You're just such a good turtle. I know you are. Mwah. Mwah. Shall we begin? Yes. Let's stand up, guys, and get loose and warmed up. And let's get started. Let's get started. Let's take this off. So I don't get myself in the face so much. And let's clap some crazy things. Somebody make a sound, say woosa. Say ishka the ball. Say really big, really big, really big. Cover your eyes, cover your ears, cover your mouth. Pass your leg. Can you wiggle your fingers in front and wiggle behind you? Can you wiggle high and low to your right, to your left? A teeny tiny circle next to your shoulders. Show me high and low, and high and low. Last one, 
Just my camera it feels like it's really high today. Let's move it down here. That feels mm, that feels okay. Let us start with Mrs. Wishy Washy by Joy Cowley, illustrated by Elizabeth Fuller. Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm. This book is from <clears throat> this book is from Fillmore Books, which is a division of Penguin. Can you guys go down to the farm with me? We're on the way, we're on the way to, we're on the way to Grandpa's farm with Mrs. Wishy Washy. This is Mrs. Wishy Washy and this is her farm. Here is her house and her truck and her barn. Here by the barn is the old tin tub where all the animals go for a scrub. Wishy washy, wishy washy, moo the cow cries. I hate this old tub, I've got soap in my eyes. Wishy washy, wishy washy, ee the pig squeals. I have been scrubbed from my nose to my heels. Wishy washy, wishy washy, quack the, the duck moons. I've got suds in my feathers and aches in my bones. The scrubbing is over, the tub goes away. No more washing, the animals say. Moo, moo, ee, ee, quack, quack, quack. Bye, Mrs. Wishy Washy. Me no, Mrs. Wishy Washy. We are leaving you and we won't be back. Fast down by the highway. Fast down by the highway, they run side by side. Where will they go? Where will they hide? Ee, the city, squeals the old, big old pig. We're going to the city where the barns are big. As as wild as a farm stampede. There was nowhere to rest. There was nowhere to feed. The three hungry animals walk into a barn. There was food on the dishes, but it's not like the farm. The cow looks around with an anxious face. I think we could be eating in the wrong eating place. Along comes the cook with an angry shout. You'll be roast on toast if you don't get out. Hi, Heather. They run for their lives to the barn next door and find themselves in a hardware store. Oops! Then a van pulls up and two shakes up a tail. It's the pickup van from the animal jail. They're taken away. Oh, what bad luck for the cow and the pig and the poor old duck. Oh no. They sit in a huddle, hungry and pale, in the cold, muddy cage of the animal jail. Then the unhappy cow and the pig and the duck hear the chug, chug, chug from the, of the old farm truck. They moo and they squeal, they quack and they cheer. It's dear Mrs. Wishy Washy, she is here. Far from the city and back on the farm, the animals run to the old red barn. Now Mrs. Washy, now Mrs. Wishy Washy fills up her tub. Come on, you three, you need a good scrub. Oh, bliss, says the cow, and she jumps right in. Oh, bliss, says the pig with a happy grin. Oh, bliss, says the duck, splashing in with the rest. There's no doubt about it. Home is best. Wishy washy, wishy washy, scrub, scrub, scrub. And that was Mrs. Wishy Washy's Farm by Joy Colley. Let me get my shaker eight. If you don't have a shaker aid, you can just use your fist. We're gonna say, Mrs. Wishy Washy had a washing machine to keep her cows nice and clean. She turned the machine, the machine went clog. Mishy, Mrs. Wishy Washy, 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 bubble, bubble clog. Can we sing it with a pig? Mrs. Wishy Washy had a, mash had a washing machine to keep that pig nice and clean. She turned the machine, the machine went clog. The pig went oink, 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 bah, bah, bah. That's just so silly. This rush day is being silly today. Making up songs. They're kind of working, kind of not. It's okay. We can be silly. Or we can say, oh no. Oh no. 
by Candace Fleming and Eric Roman. This book is from, oh no, I can't find it. This book is from Schwartz and Wade Books. Let's see what happens with, oh no. <clears throat> Frog fell in a deep, deep hole. Ribbit oops, ribbit oops. Frog fell in a deep, deep hole. Ribbit oops. Frog fell into such a deep hole, he couldn't get out to save his soul. Croak frog, help, help, I can't get out. Oh no. Mouse came along, but what could she do? Pip eek, pip eek. Mouse came to help, but what could she do? Pip eek. Mouse is so small, what could she do? She tried reaching down, can you guys reach down? Reach down. And she fell in too. Squeak Mouse, we're trapped. We can't get out. Say it with me. Oh no. Loris, Loris inched down from her banyan tree. So slow. So slow. Loris inched down from her banyan tree. So slow. Loris inch down from that high up tree. Then her allergy to cats made her achoo, sneeze. What's gonna happen? I think you know. Sniffle, Loris, bless me. We can't get out. Say it with me. Oh no! Sunbear lowered a whopping big branch. Grab on! Grab on! Sunbear lowered a whopping big branch. Grab on! Sun Bear lowered that big, big branch, but the weight of all those creatures, he teetered, he tottered, I think you know. Crash, grumble, Sun Bear, bad luck, we can't get out. Oh no! Monkey swung by on his kudzu vine. We are, we are. Monkey swung by on his kudzu vine. We are. He was having such fun on his kudzu vine, he didn't see that tree in time. Grown monkey, ouch, ow, we can't get out. Oh no! Now Tiger slunk over and licked his teeth. <laughs> Tiger slunk over and licked his teeth. <laughs> Tiger narrowed his eyes and licked his teeth. He smiled at the sight of his tasty feast. Drill Tiger, I'm here to help you out. Oh no. Then the ground bumble rumbled and began to shake. Ba boom 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 boom. The ground began to, the ground bumble rumbled and began to shake. Ba-boom! The ground bumble rumbled and quake, shake, quake. And look who came to help them escape. <gasps> Ooh, hi, Christina. Hooray! Oh, no. Who's in there now? Target fell into the deep, deep hole. Growl, growl, growl. Tiger fell into the deep, deep hole. Grrrr. Tiger fell into such a deep hole, he couldn't jump out to save his hole. Well, Tiger, please, please, won't you help me out? Oh, no. Oh, poor Tiger. Boy, cats get such a bad rap in literature, in books, and pop culture. So, hey there, kids. You're some real cool cats. You got a lot of this, and you got a lot of that. You got a lot of this to the top. Down below. On your cheek. And your nose. Hey there, kids. You're some real cool cats. You got a lot of this and you got a lot of that. You got a lot of this on your shoulders. And your elbows. And your steps. Oh, yay. Uh, Should we read about planting a garden? Let's slow it down a little bit and read about Lola plants a garden. I love Lola. This is by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Beardshaw, excuse me. And this book is published by Charles Birch Books. We always think our thinks we always think the publishers and authors and illustrators for allowing us to share their words because with you because we have we need permissions and this is part of the permission so 
I just don't want you to think I'm being like superfluous. Superfluous? Is that the word? Superfluous, yes. I can't talk with that. It's Monday. I don't know. Let's continue. Lola loves her book of garden poems. Her favorite poem is about is the one about Mary Mary. Lola wants to plant a garden. Mommy says there's room for near, room near the vegetables. Do you guys have a garden? I do, and I love it. Lola gets books about gardens from the library. She chooses her favorite flowers from the books. Mommy makes a list. They go to the garden store to buy seeds. Lola and Mommy make the garden. The seed pack is marked where the flowers are planted. Lola will have to wait a long time for them to grow. <laughs> Can you be patient? It's hard to be patient. Lola makes her own flower book while she makes, while she waits. Can you guys make a flower book? Yeah. Mommy types the Mary Mary poem and Lola glues it in. Lola makes a string of bells. She finds some shells and some little beads. She even makes a little Mary Mary. One day, Lola sees tiny green shoots. She pulls up weeds so the shoots can grow. Lola's flowers grow bigger. They open up to the sun. Look at this beautiful flower. Daddy helps Lola hang her shiny bells. Lola finds Mary Mary a special spot. It's just perfect. You see Mary Mary? Orla, Ben, and Ty are coming to see Lola's garden. Lola and Mommy made cupcakes. Lola wears her flower shirt. Mommy helps Lola with her hair. Lola's friends love everything about her garden. They share the crunchy peas and sweet strawberries that Mommy grew. Then Lola makes up a story about Mary Mary. What kind of garden will Lola plant next? Hey, let's think about that. What kind of garden can we plant? I like a vegetable garden. I have some vegetables growing. Finally got some tomatoes and some peppers. What about you guys? Do you like flowers or vegetables or fruit? So before we continue, I just want to let you know, so far we've read Lola Plants a Garden by Anna McQuinn. We read Oh No by Candace Fleming and Eric Roman. And then Mrs. Wishy Washy's Poem by Joy Crowley, illustrated by Elizabeth Fuller. Do we have time for one more book? I think we have time for one more book. Or should we sing a song? Let's sing our glasses song. Okay. Why can't I get this camera together? Okay, here we go. Let's pretend like we have our glasses. Oh, mine are pretty cool. And a book. And we're going to sing, These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open my book. I read, read, read. I look, look, look. I take off my glasses and close up my book. Like that one? Yeah. Okay, we read this one a couple weeks ago, but I love it so much that I wanted to share it again. It's called, Where is Green Sheep? Where could he be? This is by Mim Fox and Judy Horsett. And this comes from Horse, Four Cart, Four Cart Books. Boy, my it's just not working today. Blah, 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 blah. Our court books. All right. Where is the green sheep? Will you guys help me find it? Can you help me? Yeah. Okay, good. Because I can't do it alone. I need to help. Here is the blue sheep. And here is the red sheep. See that red sheep? See that red sheep? <laughs> here is the bath sheep. And here is the bed sheep. Uh, uh, uh. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep, and here is the wide sheep. Here is the sling sheep. Can you swing? And here is the slide sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. Here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the wind sheep. And here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep. And here is the brave sheep. But where, where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep. And here is the far sheep. It's all the way back. 
here is the moon sheet, and here is the star sheet. But where, where is the green sheet? I see so many other sheets, but no green sheet. Where is that green sheet? Turn the page quietly. Let's take a page. Here's our green sheet, fast asleep. One day I was laying in the bed and I looked, I, and something came to the door. It was a sheep and he was sneaking across my floor. I said, hey sheep, get out of here. But soon he was dancing on the ceiling and dancing on the floor, dancing on the windows and dancing on the wall. I said, get out of here. And he began to quickly dance on the ceiling and dance on the floor, dance on the windows and dance on the wall. I said, sheep, get out of here. But he would not peep. So finally, that sheep went to sleep. But then I began to dance on the ceiling and dance on the floor, dance on the windows and dance on the wall. Silly, yes. All right, friends, we are coming to the end of our time. Thank you very much. What's happening with my hair? Thank you very much for joining me for story time. Don't forget. Remote holes have started. So if you guys see a book that you love, but you can't get to that library and you can get to Harrisburg, you can request it. Fan service might be delayed just because, you know, it's a lot of books. But we will try to get your book as soon as possible and we hope you can find lots and lots of things to read. Um, we have our Reading Olympics book set up for our elementary and middle school grades. And again, you can put those on hold if you need to. If you have questions about summer reading, check us out. If this is questions about 1,000 books for kindergarten, please reach out. Before we go, let's do one more stretch. Let us, two little hands will clap, clap, clap. Two little hands will on my lap. Two little legs will thump, thump, thump. Two little legs is one big jump. Two little hands which goes so high. Two little hands which bye, bye, bye. Bye friends, thank you as always for watching. Thank you for supporting the library and hopefully we'll see you soon when it's safe and with your permission, I'm giving the biggest, squeezy, squashies hugs. Goodbye friends.